Hello everyone, we will continue the topic about dictionary and in the previous videos, we started with the concept of check table and value table. So firstly, we covered check table. Then in the last video, we started with value table. We covered check table works at field level. Value table works at domain level. Then as a part of the practical, we created two more dependent tables. These are our two more dependent tables. As of now, I cannot say they are dependent foreign or secondary table because there is no relation between this primary table and the secondary table. As of now, they all are independent tables. Now, now these are those two tables. If this is our vendor details table, and this is our, okay, I just go for another table. This is our status table. Now, in this table, as well as into this table, I cannot go for the, I cannot go for the order number, which is not in the header table. Yes, in these two tables also, I can only, only go for those order number which are in the order header table because that is true because we need to maintain the data consistency. This is our primary table. Whatever the foreign key tables are there in all the foreign key tables, I cannot go for the order number which is not in the order header table. It means we need to define the relationship. So previously what we are doing, we are simply, simply clicking on to the field, we are clicking on to the foreign key button and we are passing the name of the check table or we can say the name of the primary key table by which we want to validate that data. Now what SAP is saying, okay, suppose you have 15 table, 20 tables, 15, 20 dependent tables and all those 15, 20 tables must be checked against a particular table, then what is the best, best possible option? Just pass that as a value table. Whenever you will pass that as a value table, it will populate automatically as a check table. Now I will show you the practical and whenever I will read these two points, it will be automatically cleared and next interview question will be ready. Now, in this particular table, I will not click on the field and go for check table directly. No, in this particular table also, I will not do this thing. Firstly, I will assign in the domain that header table as a value table. This is our data element. This is our domain. Now, I will go for value range. Now I will pass the header table here itself in this I will pass that header table as a value table. So this is our header table Z O R D H underscore 28. This is our header table. Now I passed in that domain. So it is a value table. I'm activating that domain. Now done. Now. I passed this as a value table in the domain. Now this domain we are using in this table also. This domain we are using in this table also for this particular field. Yes, both places are same now. Yes, because in all the table, whatever the dependent tables are there. Yes, for this particular field, you are using the same domain and you passed in the domain itself. Now just see how it is benefited because nothing system will automatically populate now. Now I will simply, simply click here because now we need to check the data. I will click on to foreign key button. Now you can see SAP is automatically populating the proposal. SAP is saying foreign key does not exist you want to create a proposal with this value table? Yes, I want to create a proposal. I will go for yes. And have you seen automatically populated everything? 
Now, what is the relationship between both the table? You all know cardinality. Number of records in one table corresponds to how many number of records in second table. Relationship is one is to one. Because in this table also, we have order number as the primary key. Suppose if I will go for order header table. This is our order header table. In this order header table, we have order number is the primary key. In this order status table, we have the order number is the primary key. If I will open in another session, order status table. You can see in this table also order number standalone is the primary key. So I cannot go for duplicate records of order number. Only one single number, one record of a particular order number is allowed. So what is the relationship? One is to one. So I will simply go for one is to one. I will go for copy. Done. I'm activating. Now I will go for second table. Here also, this is your status table. Now nothing needs to be done from our end because we need we have passed in the domain itself. Now this column is referring to that domain. So whenever I will select the field and click on to this button. Now it is clearly saying, yes, you want to go for proposal. Yes, I want to go for proposal. It is clearly saying that value table, you want to treat as check table. Yes, I want to treat. And what is the relationship? Again, one is to one. Because we can only go for a particular record of a order number because only order number is the key. So what is the cardinality? One is to one. I will go for now you can see how value table is benefited. Suppose now we passed in the domain itself. Now after that, whatever the dependent tables you are creating in all the tables, whenever you will click on to this button, system will automatically populate and system will ask, do you want to treat that value table as a check table? And after that, I will show you standard also in SAP use this concept at so many places. But before that, we will go for these two points so that it will make sense to you. Whenever we need the table fields, yes, we have the table fields. What is the table field? In this table, the field is order number. In this table, the field is what order number everywhere we have order number, which is referring to the domain. Yes, they are referring to the same domain should be checked against a certain table. Yes, the order number should be checked against a table. What is the name of the table order header table? So what SAP is saying define as a value table in that domain. Yes. Whenever you will define as a value table in that domain system, what whenever you will make a proposal, that value table will become a check table when a foreign key is defined. Yes, whenever you are defining the foreign key, that check table will work, that value table will work as check table. System will propose that do you want to treat this value table as a check table. And that is the next most important question. Generally, interviewer will ask, okay, check table works at field level, value table works at domain level. Okay, in which scenario your value table will treat as check table or you can simply, simply assign value table as a check table. So answer is yes. Whenever we will assign the value table in that domain, and whenever we make a proposal using that foreign key button, so that value table will automatically populate or we can say SAP will give the pop up that you want to treat this value table as a check table or not. Extremely, extremely important question. Now what I will do, I will simply, simply generate the TMG. This is our second table. I will go for table maintenance generator. I will go for function. I just put one data. I will go for one step. 
ओके फाइंड स्क्रीन नंबर विल क्रिएट एनीवेज वी ऑल नो हाउ टू क्रिएट टीएमजी now similarly i will do it for this table order status table utilities tmg authorization group function group name is same as that of table one step find screen number now i will simply put that data i will only only able to put those order numbers which are in order header table this is your suppose i will firstly go for status table i will maintain i will go for new entries now you can see in the f4 help we are only only getting those order numbers which are in order header table but here what the process we followed we simply put that as a value table it automatically asking for the proposal of check table i can only go for one suppose this order number status is delivered yes i am just putting one record yes i cannot go for any random order number nothing it will not allow because it is a check table the entries are getting checked similarly i will go for this vendor table z o r d v e n d o r underscore 28 now if i will go for new entries you can see same to say because we define that assign that value table as a check table suppose i am going for 100 order number vendor is internal done i cannot go for any random order number it is not allowed because it is checked so what is the summary of this particular video extremely important video because in this video two more questions for the interviews interview will be there so firstly first check table works at field level value table works at domain level now to understand the concept of value table clearly we created two more dependent tables so but we did but sap is saying you will know these 15 20 tables or in the future whatever the table you are creating it must be checked against this particular table then what is the best possible option sap is saying pass that table in the domain itself because that domain you will use in all those table just suppose in our example we are using the order number domain yes in this table in another table yes so whenever you will assign in the domain so there is nothing for you to worry you can simply select the column and whenever you will click on to foreign key button sap automatically populate that value table that do you want to go for proposal of this value table as check table and that is second important question any interviewer will ask okay in which scenario or at what time you can have a option to assign value table as a check table so your answer is yes whenever we are assigning the value table in the domain yes whenever all the tables which are referring to the same domain we select the column and click on to foreign key button system automatically propose that value table that do you want to treat that value table as a check table or not yes you can treat that value table as a check table and everywhere you will see this concept at so many places sap use this concept suppose whenever you will go for a bap programming we are using this industry sector at extreme extreme level suppose if i will go for mara table i just giving a overview suppose we have industry sector 
this MBRSH industry sector. If I will go for data element, this is that domain. Have you seen in the industry sector domain, SAP pass the value table. So whatever the tables we are creating in which industry sector is there and we are using this particular domain, all, all will be checked against this particular table. System will automatically propose this value table. Highly, highly used, yes. In the future, you will see so many domains, yes, which we are using in so many table. So SAP use the concept of value table because it automatically propose as a check table because the data must be checked. We cannot go for any random data. This data consistency is very, very important. So this is all about check table and value table. So I'll just go for two important questions. Check table works at field level, value table works at domain level, yes. Whenever you have so many tables and those must, must be checked against a particular table. So what is best option? Pass that in the domain itself. Whenever you will pass in that domain, yes. Whenever you are assigning the foreign key, that value table will appear as a check table. System will ask, yes, do you want to go for assigning of this value table as a check table? So that's it in this video. Thank you.